question number 81. You have this benzene ring, nitration of this is done. Ultimately, a product you will obtain and it is treated with chlorine in the presence of catalyst iron. This is the formation of the major product B. You need to just identify product B. In this case, if you have this benzene ring and when its nitration is done, we know that in case of nitration, nitronium ion is this attacking species that is coming from H2SO4 and HNO3. And at any of the position, this nitro group is present. And nitro group is meta directing group. And if it is meta directing group, then when you are doing this chlorination, then there is the formation of the product in which this chloro group come at the meta position with respect to this nitro group. So, where is the meta proposition? This is here. This would be your product. Where this is given? This is correctly given here in option 3. So, just choose option 3 as your correct answer. After that, question number 82. Which of the following alkane has highest delta H of combustion? You should always remember that this delta H of combustion depends on the number of carbon atoms in the carbon chain or the ring. So, if I talk about the first option that contain maximum number of carbon atoms, there are total 6 carbon atoms present in the chain while in other cases in the second option there are 5 carbon atoms in the chain. Further, if I talk about the third option there are again the 5 carbon atoms. So, which would have the maximum heat of combustion? Definitely option 1 contain that species and that is why option 1 was the correct answer. Let us take next question. Question number 83. Which of the following alkynes can react with Tollens reagent? If you look at the given option, this is but 2 ion, pent 2 ion, hex 3 ion and but 1 ion. You should always remember that if we talk about the terminal alkynes, those alkynes have the nature to react with Tollens reagent. It means in this case but 1 ion is the terminal alkyne and that is why it has the nature to react with Tollens reagent. That is why I will choose option 4 as the correct answer. Let us take question number 84. Question number 84. In conformational isomerism, which property is mainly different among the various conformers? If we talk about the conformers, these are also considered as a kind of isomers in which bond energy is same, bond length is also same and the bond angle is also same but there is a difference of the potential energy and on that basis we will choose option 4 as the correct option for this question. Let us take question number 85. Question number 85 is there in which a compound is given, its ozonolysis is done and further reduction is also there. It means the reductive ozonolysis you are doing. And after that, product A is formed. Let us identify what is that product. We have this type of alkene. And when its ozonolysis is done, it means first there is the attack of ozone. And here is the formation of this type of Ozonol. Further, what you are doing here, you are adding zinc and H2O in the second step and there is a cleavage and that results in the formation of dione in this form, where this dione is given. If you expand it, you can represent this as CH3, C double bond O at the side and further CH2, CH and there is the H3 group then CH2, C double bond O and here is CH3. Where this compound is given? This is correctly given here in option 1. That is why we should choose option 1 as the correct option. Let us take question number 86. 